Hello and welcome back to the Cock Dice. In this week's video, I'm tackling a Space Marine intercessor of the Flesh Terrors chapter. So, here's what I'm starting with. We've got a Assault Intercessor here. We've got a bunch of Blood Angel bits. A Flesh Terror shoulder pad from the Death Watch kits. Uh, Nighthaunt, my favourite raggedy cloth. Uh, what else we got? So we got? This came from uh, one of the Warcry kits. I thought it was kind of cool and spiky and a bit uh, gory. So, if I can find some space for that, I'll fit it on. I found this pretty cool uh, double chainsword. I'll call it a double chainsword. It's a chainsword with a blade all the way around. Um, it's a little shorter than I'd prefer, but with a bit of clever cutting, we might be able to mount it a little bit further up uh, to keep its length. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what kit it's from. I'm presuming it's something Space Wolfy because it's got the uh, thing at the bottom. It's not a Chaos kit. If you can't find one of these, there's loads of really cool. Uh, jaggedy looking chainsaws in the chaos box, um, a new box of space marines, so you can always grab one of those. Right, so we'll crack on. First job is going to be sticking the body of your intercessor together while waiting for the body to dry off a little bit uh, and solidify. We'll get on with his chainsaw arm. So, first job is let's get this chainsaw off this miniature now. Let's look at the sizes. So if, if I give it to him normally, it's going to come out a little bit short. So I'm thinking what I might do is cut across there, mount it on top of this cross yard here, which will pretty much keep the length. So I'm going to do that. So on the intercessor, I'm going to cut just above the cross guard here. Nice smooth cut straight through. And then on this guy, we're going to cut just above the hand here, giving it a little bit of extra space so we can square it off. And then we're going to take off the hand guard there. Like so, so there we go. It's going to mount it like that. So we just need to clean up this area here with your hobby knife. So just get a knife and very carefully trim some layers off it until it's nice and flat. If you always stick the sword on, I'm also going to remove the shoulder pad here. And for that, you need a pair of hobby clippers. And again, you've seen me do this before, but we're just going to clip all the way around his arm here and trim the shoulder pad off very quickly here. So just take your clippers and cut following the, sh the curve of this shoulder. Try not to destroy the actual arm and joint itself. Then once you've cut the rough shape with the clippers, you're just going to take a knife and we're just going to round off this shape, make sure we can fit a new shoulder pad in it. It doesn't need to be particularly neat, it will be hidden, though you might want to clean up around this arm guard just a little bit, just in case this bottom of his arm's visible. So there we have it cleaned up, and as you can see, we've got a pretty good fit there for the shoulder pad now. So I'm gonna put this sword on, and then pop this aside to dry while I go back to the space room for a little bit. And it goes in that way. So back onto this guy. Now I'm gonna take off this uh, eagle off his chest and replace it with a small symbol, which is here. So as you've seen me do on many other videos, I'm just going to remove this. So just take a knife and we're just going to cut upwards towards the top of the model. Now, because this is a sergeant model, you're going to get a bit of his chest showing here. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful, try and trim it off and clean up the joint between where the chest is. It's the unfortunate downside of using uh, some of the easy to build kits sometimes. So there we have it, one pretty smooth chest. Obviously, where the chest joint was in this model cut very slightly weirdly. You can just about see the line there. We'll cover that up later, I think, with a purity seal or two. So next up, this is a little medallion thing from, I think it's the Incursors and um, uh, Infiltrators uh, Primaris kit. Now it's got a little belt loop at the top. So just take your knife, slide it between the two spikes and just very carefully just nip that off at the top there. I think things have to be pretty small to fit on this chest piece, I've realised. Double glue in the centre, and then we'll drop it on and just make sure that it's nice and central and it's following the lines of his chest piece across this way nice and evenly. You could tip it very slightly. If you've got the time, you might want to just sand it back just a wee little bit so it's not sticking out like that. 
I think that looks okay to me. So I'll get his arm glued on now and then we'll move on to some of the cool bits. So he's starting to come on quite nicely. Now one of the things I wanted to do was give him some sort of cool ragged cloth. Cloth? Clo <laughs> cloak. Oh, I can't even speak tonight. A simple option I think is this one. Seems to fit quite nicely under there. We can obviously gonna have to do some trimming to fit his backpack on. We want it to come down at an angle. Just flowing behind him there like that a little bit. So then we're gonna take these inside little connectors off. These are for the Easy Build Nighthawk kit, so you just need removing like so. Then we need to take some material off this bit here. It is actually fitting relatively well in there. But I do want to take a bit more off this just to sneak it in a bit closer. So take the knife, we're gonna clean up this inside and we're gonna strip this down. So I'll be back in a minute once I've cleaned up some more. Right, so this is cleaned up pretty well now, and as you can see, I've got most of the guff out of it. Uh, there's a bit of him here, but if that's hidden so far behind him, I don't think you're gonna notice it. So I'm gonna glue this into position, give it a little bit of time to dry it off again, and then we'll get some green stuff around it. So as we've got a little bit of time now, I'm gonna pop a head on him here, and I'm also gonna pop Blood Angel knife and grenade pack on his, arm, his uh, armor here. And I'll grab the Blood Angel yelling head. Um, I thought it was kind of cool to, Keep some reference to the precursor, pregenerator, uh, whatever chapter. Uh, the chapter they're from. <laughs> I can't remember the word. I'm having a complete brain melt today. Uh, that's pretty good. Now on this shoulder, I want to drop on this cool blood drop symbol. So I'm going to put some, and to mark him out, we'll drop a sanguinary cup on his backpack up here. That might be a bit too much. Yeah. Oh well. Then, as I mentioned before, I'm going to drop a couple of Fury seals on his arm here. So, just going to green the stuff back the backpack on. So, if you give me a minute, I'll let this dry off a bit, and then we'll sort that out. So, a little bit of green stuff in work now to do. First of all, a little wedge-shaped piece. We're just going to shape and drop on here, and we'll carry that up to his shoulder there. And then, with the tip of your tool, just work it into place. So you essentially need to make some sort of attachment point up here. So I'm going to get a couple of grooves down here. Poke it in and around this loads. And then for the other side, a slightly longer piece that's going to fit right up to his shoulder up here, like so. And on big flat areas like this, this is where a rubber sculpting tool comes in handy. Now, as before, you keep it wet and then you can just smooth it down. It gets a far smoother surface than the, um, the sculpting blade does on its own. Just work over this gently. You don't need to push hard on this. We're just trying to smooth the surface over. It ruffles out a little bit. And these kind of fold lines where we've made a bit of a mess of it. Bear in mind also, that your power pack's going to cover up a huge chunk of this as well. So just keep working into it. Focus on the visible areas. Now here it should bunch up a little bit round the helmet. So we might just try and do... So as the cloth folds down here, it bunches and then goes round the helmet a little bit. So this would have a bit of a line in it. So I'm just going to start marking that in. And again, with the sculpting tool, just smooth it out a little bit. So smooth into the rest of it. And then to mimic some of this side, we're just going to take a little bite out of here, here. Just like that, just working a little hole into it in a kind of rip style. 
here and enhance that one a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure I need to do any more on that. So there we go, we'll stick his backpack on now and we'll call this guy done. So, a bit of glue. Turn the power plant back on again and as you push this on, you'll see you can just squish the green stuff in a little bit. It won't ruin it. So there we have it, one finished flesh tearer's sergeant or lieutenant or whatever you wish it to be. I'll get this guy painted up and you can hang around and see a painted video in cup right about now. And thanks for joining us here at The Clock Dice. Why not like this video and add a comment below? It really helps boost the channel. And while you're at it, if you click on the icon below, you can subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates as soon as they're live. Why not check out some of our other videos and playlists? You can click on the ones on screen right now. Take care, and we'll see you next time.